all the press knows about it. So uh, just another thing on the back of the Railers. Oh, yeah. You want to beat a ranked team. And you want to win the home opener. And with that said, they win the tip. Opening tip controlled by Normal West. They'll be moving right to left here in the first half as we sit courtside at Normal West High School. And, of course, courtside means at any moment we could go off the air because I'm not as quick <laughs> as I used to be. <laughs> Uh, well, where is that? Stewart at the top of the key. Works to the back now. Right side to McGinnis. Down to the left side to Stewart. Swing pass down in the corner to Bronke. Bronke in the double team from Smith and Nelson. Back on top to Stewart. Got to like Stewart out of 30 feet. West, as we've seen from uh, previous years, really wants to play a deliberate slowdown game. Bronke's three is no good. Nobody there boxing out for the Railers, and Stewart gets the put back, and the Wildcats are on the board. Yep, gave him a freebie there, Jeff. That was a rebound waiting to be had. The Railers didn't have it. Railers, their first possession here tonight. Pass intended for Kirby. It's tipped out of bounds by Bronke, so it'll stay with the Railers. They, op they open with McGinnis on yeah. uh, Nelson. Very interesting with uh, having a sophomore guard a senior. Yep. See what Nelly can do with him. Maybe they figure he's younger and he'll be able to keep up. <laughs> And as we figured, Stewart up. Oh, the way he's moving, he's not near as quick, I can tell you that. Kirby down low, pass on the blocks to Coyne. Back on top to Jordan. Nelson's three, top of the key, up off the right side. No good, tracked down by Stewart. They had bow on uh, Smith, too. Bronke in front of us. Now right side now to McGinnis. Bronke inside to Durham. Durham turns, bounces it on the baseline. Ball kicks it back out. Pull-up jumper is up and good for McGinnis from just outside the lane, and the Wildcats on an early 4-0 lead on the right railers. Too good a look that time. Uh, Wildcats did a nice job getting it inside and going and finding the 15-footer. Smitty down in the right corner, working into the baseline. Kicks out to Brent Coyne. His high-arcing three is on the way off the back of the rim. No good. Gesner's there for the rebound. Kicks it back out to Nelson. Railers get a second chance. Nelson's three on the way up and good. <laughs> Nice job that time. Railers found Nelson. Nelson found the bottom of the, of the net. A couple minutes into this contest, Railers down 4-3. Stewart on the right, left side near the Wildcat logo. Going to make Nelson work if they keep him on that side. Bronke, his three off the back of the rim, no good. High for the rebound. Smith and Coyne come out of there with it for the Railers. Nelson in their front court. Left side to Smith. Back now to Austin Kirby. Nathaniel's going to drive, take it to the basket, lays it up, no good, but he will be going to the line, I believe. Nelson, uh, that's twice, Bo can't, uh, can't keep up with Nathaniel, so I, I look for the Raiders to clear and let Nathaniel take him to the bucket. Well, it's interesting, and maybe it's a normal West thing that they don't want to get foul trouble on their two main scorers, but you know, they're, that's their two best players, their two best athletes. Why don't we have them on Lincoln's best, two best players or, or athletes or scorers anyway, but they don't, uh, and I... Right now, I think Smitty and Nelly are going to have a field day. Yeah, uh, especially on the guys that they got on them. They're going to force them to uh, to guard those right. guys. Smitty missing the uh, ah. first free throw, missing them both. Boy, the Raiders continue to shoot lousy at the free throw line this year. Came into tonight shooting at, at 61 percent as a team, and last year they shot almost 78 percent. Stewart baseline jumper from 17, no good. Kirby there for the rebound. As he fights with a couple of Wildcats, it goes off of Normal West, so it'll go back to the Railers. Down 4-3, 5-25 to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, good job by Kirby there, battling two guys on West and uh, was able to go up and got it smacked out. And, and Gessner getting an offensive rebound for a, for a Jordan 3 a couple of possessions ago. Top of the key, Smitty looked to go back door, but it was covered up by McGinnis. Nathaniel back on top between the circles to Kirby. Swinging around in the corner, left side 3, Jordan Nelson rattles good. Well, he's... Uh, uh, he's gonna get, he's, it looks like Bolt's going to let him shoot, or, uh, uh, I'm sorry, McGinnis is going to let him shoot because he's terrified that, uh, that, uh, Nelly's going to take him to the basket. You give him two feet, Nelson's going to light him up for 40. Gesner gets called for his first foul, first on the team here in the first half. Well, one thing Jordan's got to do now, he's hit two in a row, two in a row right in his face. He's got to go to the basket. Yeah, because he's got, he's got, McGinnis has got to step up. They can't let Nelson rain threes down on us. Bronke. Works it around the left side. See a lot of strange things in the town that's supposed to be normal. <laughs> Driving. Pull a jumper inside the lane by McGinnis is up and good. He has four, and we are tied at six. West doing a nice job, very patient, attacking the railer uh, deep. Uh, Nelson. Working the left-hand dribble, brings it to the left side. Now on the left wing to Austin Kirby. 
Kirby, uh, top of the key to Nathaniel Smith. Smith backs the dribble out, hands off to Gesner. Gesner will drive in, top of the key. Railer slowly yeah. closing in toward the lane. Coyne's going to drive, and a foul is going to be whistled against the Wildcats. Yeah, and it looks like if Coyne or the Railers can get uh, 45, which is uh, Dur Durham in foul trouble, really, they go small after Durham. Uh, he's 6'5 six, uh, six and a junior, but after that, they don't have a lot of size look like on the bench. No, they're going to get real small, and uh, Durham not real quick of foot. Jordan Nelson, another three. That's off the back of the rim, no good. And I think they're going to get the foul. It's going to be whistled on Nathaniel Smith as he went up high battling Bull for the rebound. That'll be Nathaniel's first, second on the team. Just uh, shy of halfway through the first quarter, tied at six. Well, there's a little sluggish on offense right now, but uh, that will change. Stewart crossover dribble, almost dragged that pivot foot. Back on top to McGinnis. No substitution jet in the contest. Stewart passed nice hands as he corralled it. Now to McGinnis, watched by Gesner. When, they get, when the West goes to the corner to Stewart, uh, Smith is all over him, along with Nelson. They go to a quick double. Stewart back on top. West looking to take the lead. This trip down. Bronkies three on the way. Up and good. Bronkies got a real awkward looking shot, but it tends to go in. 3.20 to go. Railers are down at 9-6. And do you know the biggest deficit the Railers have had all year has been three points? Wow. Sounds like the Railers are pretty good. Coin swings it around left wing to Kirby. Austin back on top near the timeline to Nathaniel Smith. Nice. Back door. Nice cut. Brant lays it up and in. Yeah, the uh, their big kid just has no foot speed at all. Durham is slow. Great pass by Smitty, too, and that's a carry. Over to Stewart. As the Railers are down 9-8, Stewart tries to get inside. Back down to Burrow. Burrow looking for position. Loses ah. it over to Stewart. Misses it. Kirby there for the board. Stewart missed a point blank on that time. I look for the Railers to spread and uh, uh, do the same thing. Let coin back. Uh, Durham's is too slow a foot. Nathaniel hands off to Nelson. And again, the pass is going to be knocked out of bounds off of Bronchi. And guys, we've seen that a couple times where that bounce over on that wing has been tipped away. The guy's got to come to the ball. Come to the ball. He's got to come to the ball, but Jordan's also got to throw, get over a little closer to him. I mean, he's throwing a, a lazy pass to him, and uh, he's got to get there quicker. Uh, Jordan gets fouled, no call. Nathaniel on the back cut, uh, trying to get it to Nelson. Nelson tried to go up with the left hand, missed it. Ball goes out of bounds. The Railers looking for a foul, no call, so it's back over to the, the Wildcats. 2.25 to go. They've got a one point lead here in the first quarter. And also, when McGinnis overplays like that, you got to back cut him. That's the fastest way to stop somebody from over, overplaying you. Wildcats working around the perimeter. Ball on the baseline, cut off by Smith. Nice spin, nice right. up and under move. Right. Lays it up and in. Sure yeah. and, a, and a good job by Smitty right there. He did a good job of cutting the baseline off, but our wing has got to get down there, and he's there, supposed to be there for the reverse spin. And West had uh, Stewart on the other side that time. They've had him everywhere trying to find him a spot. Nelson trying to get a screen from Coyne, bounces it inside to Brant. Brant lays it up, didn't get it to go down, but a nice move by Brant, and he's fouled by Bull, and that'll be his second. And the uh, guys you talked about earlier, getting Brant Coyne involved, he missed an early three, but he's done a nice job in the lane so far tonight. Yeah, he. Uh, we did not get him involved at all at the tournament in, in uh, Lincoln, both, mostly because we didn't need to, but as the year goes on, we're going to need him, particularly the conference. And, uh, uh, we got to get Brant needs a little confidence too. He plays much better when he's playing with confidence. Well, one thing he's big and he's athletic. I mean, there's a lot of things Brant can do on the court that can help the Railers. And uh, there's not a lot of guys his size with his athleticism that he's going to go up against this year. Um, and he can pose a problem, uh, you know, and, and spell especially Jordan, which was a great pick and roll right there. Yeah, Jordan did a nice job that time with the with the uh, path. Brant makes the first one and gets the second one to go down. He has four. He'll also take a seat as Jake Olson is in for Austin Kirby. Christian Van Hook in for Coyne. So you've got Nelson, Kirby, Van Hook, Smith, and Olson on the floor for the Railers. Nice catch by Stewart. That kid's an athlete. Stewart tipped away but gets it back into the front court to Bronke. Now he drives the lane, kicks it over to a wide open Wesley Seary into the contest for the first time. Too easy, too easy. West got a bunch of inside baskets. Minute and a half to go. Olsen to Jordan, curling around inside the top of the key. High archer is good. 13-12. Railers are down just one. Nelly with eight. Nelly off to a quick start. 
Hands it over left side to McGinnis. Bronke to Stewart in front of uh, Coach Al. Inside to Durham. Back out to McGinnis. His three from the left side off the back of the room. No good. Stewart high over everybody. Oh. Drags <laughs> Kirby to the court. Now Bronke will take a high arcing three. That's off the back of the rim. No good. Durham can't control it. Ball loose. Scrum. Picked up by, I think Austin's got a foot. <laughs> I think Austin, it's, uh, he came out of there with it. And the alternating possession will keep it. That, that's going to go back to the Railers. 56 seconds. Railers a chance to take the lead at the end of the quarter. Yeah, look for the Railers to hold it for one here. Look for West to try to pressure them up. Jake Olson, who's done a nice job so far this season, coming in spelling the guard position, Christian on the high post. Looking, there's Nelson on the right corner. His three up. Barry, and he got didn't hit. get to go down, but he's going to go to the line shooting three. Sorry, Jeff, I watched Nelson just get buried there, <laughs> waiting for a call that finally came. Well, that's one thing that he's going to see a lot now, guys, is he's hit a couple threes, and now they're starting to run, really run at him. Yep. And, uh, you know, that was a, a, the shot before that he hit on a curl. I mean, not a lot of high school guys can make that. that that's, yeah. a, that's a 16 uh, 16 footer off a screen and pulling up on a dime yep. and uh, that, that's that's a big time shot. Oh yeah, for those of you who haven't seen the Raiders, Jordan Nelson's a real offensive player. Right. You, you don't see kids like him very often. If uh, if he was 6'4", he'd probably be a McDonald's All-American. He I mean, really would. Yeah. You, he can score anywhere. And you know the thing is, for those who haven't seen it, for those who are listening to the broadcast, you can log on to WLCNOnline.com in the next couple of days, and you'll have the video replay of this contest as Jordan makes all three of the free throws, and the Railers are back on top by two, 15-13. Yeah, he's a special player, and uh, we watch him for four years uh, from a struggling freshman who was teeny tiny getting pushed all over the floor to uh, one of the premier guards in the state, at least at the 3A level, and I tell you, if he was at a 4A school, he'd play there too. Right. 25 nice seconds. Nice job by Smitty as he steps in front of the pass from Bronke. Robs down to the corner to Nelson. Nelson dribbling between the defense. Austin spots up for a three on the way off the right side. No good. 15 seconds to go. West a chance to tie or take the lead as we head to the end of the first. Well, it's too quick that time. They had the ball 25 seconds. Yeah. You, want to, you want to get the last shot. Down to seven. Down to six. Five count. Bronke working against Olsen. He's picked up his dribble. Tipped away by nice. Austin. To three to one. Austin half court on the way. It'll fall short. At the end of one, Railers on top. Lincoln 15, Normal West 13. Back with the second quarter in a moment. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. <laughs> 